Hello everyone, Dan here from the Next Issue Podcast. On to this video, I want to talk about DC All In as far as like there's a whole bunch of relaunches of new titles, new jumping on points. So I just wanted to do a quick video to let you know, here's the things that I'll be reading, here's the things that I'll be waiting on. I have gone and read at least most of the books that are already out, at least uh, just to try them out again for the first time. Uh, as, as new jumping on points. So this is just obviously my opinion uh, and there I'll try to give reasons uh, as far as why I'm reading or skipping or whatever the case may be for some of these titles. Uh, I'm just kind of go here through my notes. So first of all, uh, I'm going to be continue to read Batman. Uh, Chip Zdarsky's run is coming to an end later in, in a few months, I think. Uh, so I want to see how that finishes up. I will always read Batman. Batman is one of my favorite titles ever. It really, since I've been reading it, like, I can't think of somebody that's had a bad run on it, on Batman. The, or at least a run that I didn't enjoy in on some level. Uh, so, of course, as the Batman stan in the, in, the, in the channel, like, I have to keep reading Batman. Uh, now, Birds of Prey. Birds of Prey is a fantastic book so far. So, as long as Kelly Thompson continues to write that series, I'm going to be reading Birds of Prey. Uh, this is I'm just talking about some of the big titles really. There's a lot of mini series and maxi series and uh, little spin off offshoots or whatever. Now, Poison Ivy is a book that I have read the first volume. That one is one that I'm gonna continue to trade weight. Uh, hopefully, I can catch up very soon. I don't exactly what's going on in the book right now, but things are looking intense. Uh, Shazam. Uh, that's another title that I definitely checked out and I thought it was very interesting. There's just something about Shazam that just does not really like pull me in right away. So uh, I think for now, for the time being, I'll continue to skip Shazam. Uh, we have Action Comics. Uh, this has launched with, first of all, it's gone weekly. I don't know how long that's going to maintain, but it's gone weekly. Uh, I'm going to continue to check it out because that's a title that has recurring uh teams change uh, changing the team uh who's working on it uh every little arc uh so i find that a lot of fun and it's easy to hop in and out of the series uh batman and robin is a book that i'm currently behind on i do intend to catch up uh but it definitely kind of fell on my priority i might switch that one to a trade weight as opposed to reading it as it comes out weekly uh we have Green Lantern Course uh, or Civil Course. That's not a book that I was reading. Uh, it looks like it's a little ongoing series for the moment. There's a lot of shakeups at the Green Lantern, uh, so I'm gonna. I'm not sure exactly where I stand with it, but I will probably continue to not read that for the moment. Uh, we have Action Comics that is also, like I said, that's weekly. So that we already talked about that. Uh, Batman and Superman World's Finest. One of my favorite titles ongoing at the moment. I will continue to read that. Uh, Green Lantern. Now, Jeremy Adams is kind of getting close to, I believe, wrapping up his run. Uh, and I, I want to see how that finishes out. So I'm definitely going to check that out. Uh, let's see. We have uh, a whole new Nightwing. Uh, that's a book that I've been reading uh, for a long time. And I really, really enjoyed the beginning of this new era with Dan Waters. Um, and Dexter Soy on art. So we have a review for that in the channel. If you haven't checked it out, make sure to go check it out. Uh, Wonder Woman by Tom King. Of course, I'm going to keep reading that. That is a fantastic title. Probably one of my favorite ongoings at the time. Uh, let's see what else. We have a whole new, brand new team on Detective Comics, which includes Tom Taylor and Nico Janine for the debut issue. Uh, I've, uh, Detective Comics is also... The other mainstay Batman book, so like I'm gonna continue to read that. That'll be probably one of the last books that I ever drop if I, for whatever reason, I stop reading comics. Um, now we have the Flash. The Flash, uh, I tried it out when Simon Spurrier started the run, uh, and then I read the latest issue as a kind of jumping on point. Um, I'm gonna continue to not read that, and it's not because it's bad or anything. It just doesn't kind of piqued my interest. Uh, Simon Spurrier is somebody that has, I think you have to be in a specific mindset or like a specific type of story to really uh, kind of dig into his stuff. Uh, but it has nothing to do with the talent of the creative team. It's just something that I'm not, it doesn't call out to my attention right now. Uh, same with the next title, 
Green Arrow, even though this is by Joshua Williamson, who's been doing a really good job with some of his other stuff, uh, I'm still a little hesitant to kind of jump on that. Uh, I think that's a book that I'll go back and I, I read the issues that were tied into Absolute Power because they're tied into the the big event. Uh, but yeah, I don't know. As of right now, this relaunch is not seem very attractive to me. Uh, Power Girl. Uh, that's a book that I started to read, and I was not a big fan of uh, the art team. Uh, the, yeah, it was the art that really kind of threw me off a little bit in the beginning. Um, I'm going to give this another issue. I have read the I read issue 14, which is a relaunch. I'm going to give this another issue to see if it cements uh, me reading it. If not, I'll probably move it back to trade waiting. Uh, next, we have Superman, Superman 19 fantastic book uh we'll definitely continue to read that i love that book the, the relaunch was so much fun uh so i'm definitely going to check that out uh, i think that kind of covers most of the all-in books uh let me just do one last check oh we have a new batgirl that will start in a couple of weeks i'll definitely be checking that out uh and then i think as far as that goes that's pretty much everything uh of course stay tuned to the coverage in the channel uh, also i will be reading at least every number one issue of any absolute uh you know any absolute book so like we've already covered absolute batman and wonder woman i'll definitely be reading absolute superman and then of course later on we'll have uh, absolute flash absolute martian manhunter i'll definitely be checking those out as well so stay tuned for that coverage and i'll let you know if it's a series uh that i'm going to be sticking around for so let me know what all in issues you'll be checking out what are you reading from dc comics this doesn't include a lot of their other series uh that of course dc has going on uh there's a lot of stuff that i'm reading uh, hopefully you can jump on in on the channel and check some of that stuff out uh but yeah as always thank you for watching everyone remember to share like subscribe hit the bell so you know when we go live that is most saturdays it's 9 a.m central standard time and stay tuned we have more comic reviews trailer reactions TV recaps, all that fun stuff in the channel. And as always, thanks for watching, everyone. Bye-bye.